Hey what's up guys, Cody here and welcome to a brand new video. Now before the video starts, I just want to thank all of you Atlanteans. Yes, you. Yes, you. Phil, you're sitting right there. In your seat. Yes, I see you. You're wearing your boxers. Put some pants on, Phil. Put your pants on. Come on, dude. It's the middle of the day, Phil. I'm just kidding. God. If you're watching this video and your name is Phil and you're not wearing box, if you, you know, if you are wearing boxers and not pants, um, well, this got awkward. And I apologize, but Atlantians, I just want to thank you so much before this video starts. You guys are so freaking awesome. You guys showed so much love on my survival series. Now, I have three new ideas for a survival series down the road. And uh, yeah, let's get started in this, guys. Now, tell me in the comments, do you like trains? Well, the volcano is now gone. Professor Pickles, the, he helped us out. Uh, it was a bit of a mess. But nonetheless, we destroyed it and we're all good to go. But I had some time before the uh, new construction guys are coming to redo my room, redecorate it all. Let me know, should I have a water slide, guys, going all the way down? Uh, that'd be so freaking cool. I broke something out. I brought this along with me when I came to Atlantis and it's my toy train set. Guys, I have all my stuff for my toy train and I want to build it with you guys and show you guys how to build your own toy train set. So I made this little platform, kind of makeshift. I took what I could find and uh, we're gonna build my train set in this. I don't know how big of a train set we can make, but hopefully it's awesome. Hopefully it's huge. So I'll show you guys all these straight tracks, the ones that don't have any like forks off, like because some of them are like wide tracks or three tracks, I'm not sure. But let's take a look at these guys because I am a toy train expert. You might not know that. I'm the King of Atlantis and also a toy train expert. Go figure. And we're gonna need our trusty modeler's wrench. So if we place down the straight track, boom, look at that. It's a sweet little tiny little micro train set you know the one that go the big one that goes all the way around Atlantis yeah that's a huge one this is just a toy one so we're gonna have this toy set and uh, we're gonna be able to make a really really cool train track set uh, now if we put this buffer block down we can just you know if the trains go in it'll just stop right there pretty much and uh, we also have this curve track which is cool because you can just curve you just, and you can go this way and then you can go back this way and then you can go back this way and you can slither all along. <laughs> Literally, I don't know if you Atlanteans have ever had like a toy train. Uh, but like I remember the, there was these tables and they were so cool because you would be able to like take your magnetic trains and link them all together. That's just me as a kid who loved trains. Now the detector tracks, they don't do anything right now. They're more or less just a straight track pretty much. I could have Professor Pickles come down here and make these bad boys work and maybe have a redstone signal that they give off. Now the other one is a bridge track. So this one lets my train... Look at it. Yep, it lets my train go and be suspended, pretty much. Now you can't... I don't recommend having it go out too far because then it wouldn't make logically sense because then the bridge would collapse in the middle. Unless you had supports. Uh, which we probably could add the in my oak wood post because I might have to expand this guys I might have to expand my whole little train setup or you could put those in it might make sense yeah whatever you guys want to do if you have to, like I have a huge gap that you gotta make a huge thing for it might make sense let's put that bad boy up and let's use our modeler's wrench because the modeler's wrench I every train expert needs to have this because it will let you pop up your train tracks easily so I guess let's get started. I'll show you guys the other ones in a minute, maybe, as we're going. I don't know. Okay, so where should our train start? It, it probably should start right when we walk in. So let's have a straight track. And then maybe, um, let's get some wood. Because <laughs> I, I was going to put a curb track, and then I was like, no, wait, hold on. That's not going to be too good, because then it's just going to be hanging over nothing. There we go. And then maybe we can curve back this way? Okay, and we're also going to take a look at, right now, the slope track. So, you get a bit of gravel in this, and you also get a track where your train can go up. Look at that. <laughs> your train can go right up. Chugga chugga choo choo. Going right up to the top. And not gonna stop. Alright, that looks good. Pick these all up. So, we gotta have a bit of an area where we can... Or It's kind of looking like a roller coaster. It's not gonna be a roller coaster. Hold on. It's not gonna be a roller coaster. 
Uh, let's piece of wood. Can we put a piece of wood here? I haven't used this train track in so long. There we go. Okay, we can have that there. And then we can have a straight track. Looking fancy. So now we can have maybe a little bit. Uh, maybe it curves off right here. Yeah, it could curve off right there. And now we're going to be going to like a whole area where we're going to be mid-air. So we need to have our bridge tracks. Come on. There we go. Come on, you can do it. It's so hard to place these ones. There we go. So we got a bridge going across. It would be cool if we could make little houses, but we don't have any little houses. Oh, it'd be like a doll set. No, I don't want a doll set. Sneaky Sisters might have one, I guess, that would kind of fit in this. I'm not going to go get their doll set, guys. No, Atlanteans, calm down. Okay, we can have that. And maybe it curves back this way. So we might need another post going up. There we go. Cool. Cool. Place this bad boy. And we could rotate it right now. I don't know. Let's get some wood in here. Boom. There we go. Perfect. Perfection. Uh, okay. Then we're going to have... Oh, maybe we should have a slope going down. We have a, a slope going down. That makes sense. Place it right there. Perfect. Now, we could make it curve, or we could go straight out a bit more and make this thing a little bit bigger. That looks so cool. The one, the bridge. I love the bridge. It's so cool, Atlantean. Place that right there. Okay, we're coming out a bit. We're going out. Uh, we're going out of the booth. Here we go. Need my axe. Trusty axe. There we go. Hopefully Rasmus doesn't catch me doing this, because yeah, I really should be doing other stuff. But I... I like trains, so it's, it only makes sense. Oh, you know what? We should get some of these Y tracks. Or like these um, ones that fork off. So let's get the Y track, yeah. The Y track could make this pretty interesting because we ha could have two like sections where our train could go. So let's make the Y track. And now we're going this way? Okay, let's go this way then. Uh, that's a detector track. We need a regular straight track. We can just go straight up. Oh, whoa, you can change. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. My toy train set, I learn everything every day. Look at that, you can switch it so it's like, it's gonna go this way, but if you flick that again, it's gonna go that way. Oh my god. That's epic. Now, we probably should not go to where the steps are. So let's make our way this way, kind of. We're gonna have to build it up a little bit. Perfect. Curving off. Oh, we could go under there. Let's go under the bridge. Under the bridge. We go in all the way. There we go. Perfect. Uh, how are we going to do this? So we just probably curve this way. And then let's curve out. Going right next to the other track. But I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be just dandy. And we'll have the rope bridge go all the way across to the other side. That looks so cool. It's coming along great, Atlanteans. Look, it's all weaving and bobbing. That's where you want your toy train set to be. Now you're gonna make sure your little brothers don't touch these when you make them, because little brothers are the worst for destroying your toy train sets and your Lego builds. Trust me, I know from experience. It's terrible. Sometimes it happens to the worst of us. And, all right, that's looking sick. I think what we could do, we could kind of have like the little, uh, we're going for it, we're going for it, we're going for the little roller coaster. These, I think these ones are bigger ones. They go, oh no, they take a longer time to go up. Okay, so let's pick this up. And let's place it right here. There we go. So it's, it takes longer to go up, it's not as steep, but it looks even more epic. And I gotta place it like right here. We place this one right here, guys. It should make it go up even more. We might have to dig out some of these Atlantean statues. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh, and then we could have a steep drop going down. I like that plan. Did it just go right down? Oh my god, that's super scary. But I think our train passengers, they're going to be in for a ride. They're paying for a roller coaster when they pay with us. Okay, and let's just get that all set up. 
wood. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally, look at that. It's going so far. Oh, but we could have um, a set going like underneath. I don't know how we can do that. Maybe. Okay, we probably should steady this off so we don't scare our... Let's do one more. Look at that. It's curved off. And I guess we'll just pick up some of this carpet. We're going to be replacing the carpet. It's all going to be different. This whole palace will look amazing. Also, I don't... I've never seen Rasmus's room. Maybe he'll get a room if he doesn't. Because I... Oh, maybe he lives in a chicken coop. That would be pretty difficult. Living in a chicken coop. Being a counselor of Atlantis. Yeah. I mean, whatever works for Rasmus. If he wants to be a counselor living in the chicken coop, he can. But he probably could buy the chicken coop. Instead of renting it. From a mean, mean renter. There we go. Perfect. Because the renters, I mean, if you rent out a chicken coop, you know, they're going to be taking your chicken eggs. That's what, that's, because Rasmus is, he's a hen. He's not a rooster. He's not a rooster. I'm pretty sure, I don't know what species he's in. I, you know, I think that's rude to ask. If I asked him what species he is, I think he would be offended. And I don't, no, I don't want to offend Rasmus. Okay, this is where we can have the bridge that we're entering underneath. Oh, this is going to be cool. Um, should we have a little post there? Post at the beginning. And then maybe we'll have one on the end. Stop moving me! <laughs> there we go. Come on, and... Oh, the rope bridge is coming along great. There we go. Look at this floating one. How are we gonna get back up, though? How are we gonna get back up? This all, uh... Maybe if we turn this track right here? Oh, we have to put a little post there. And then we're gonna need to go back up. Uh, we have room! We have room! This is the most windy and most... Oh, it's epic when the train tracks go above the other train tracks. So maybe we can have one that goes... No, this way and over and then comes back to the beginning. That would be so cool. Do we have any more fork offs? Uh, where does this train track? Oh, these, this train track stopped. So maybe we'll get this all set up. I'm so pumped to show you guys. It looks so sick. Atlanteans, this is my best creation ever. Best thing I've ever done being the king of Atlantis. Oops. <laughs> little hanging off here. There we go. That's uh, supported. Um, we will add some supports there. Uh, this is doesn't have any supports. So we'll have to add that in. Uh, I I'm still working on the structure, guys. It looks so cool. Though. Let me take you around the world of trains. Everyone here loves trains. Trains. If they don't love trains, then they die, and they're publicly executed at the Sandcastle. The Sandcastle has the rule of the ruthless ruler of the Sand People. They actually are sand. They are not people. It's literally just a piece of sand that rules and there is no actual people. The people who live in the dollhouse, the people who live, or the uh, candy that lives in the gingerbread house, they all, they they praise a, face, a, a fake god. I mean, the, the sand person, the sand, little piece of sand, it, it literally, somebody thinks it speaks to them. When it doesn't, it doesn't speak to them. No, not at all. Because I have no clue what I'm saying and I'm making this up on the spot. And if you were listening and take that all in, then I think you need to maybe realize Cody is a liar. And Cody, no, I'm not a liar, but I was joking. And you fell for it. So let me take you around the train track. So I worked on it a bit. We're going to start off. We're just going to go chugga chugga choo choo up this little hill. And we're gonna come across the rope bridge. Oh, I fell through. That's not good. Come across the rope bridge, and then we're gonna go down. But then there's an intersection. So we're gonna go this way, across another small rope bridge, around the same castle, and then we're gonna go under the other track, and then we get put to a four way. Now, the four way, it has a little buffer area. So that maybe might be a train. Uh, track going that way one time in the near future because these people this is a whole different universe They have their own little universe and they have their own little False gods like the sand god who's just a sand piece of sand They praise him and he makes all the decisions for them You know how people like they have the little, little eight ball and they'll shake it and it says yes, you should You should yes, or like they'll ask a question and they'll be like yes or no and then the thing will say I'm not quite sure yes, and then yeah, they, they pretty much live off something that does pretty much that kind of aspect. 
Anyways, we're continuing on. So we take a right. And we go up this little... It's getting gradually bigger. It's the grasslands where the normal people live. This is not a dollhouse I took from Sneaky Sisters. Okay, it is a Sneaky Sister dollhouse that I took. But we're moving on. So we go to this rope bridge that doesn't have any supports currently. So we're going to change that. The supports should be in like right there. We'll go right up to the top. Because if you have a rope bridge, it's literally... it's. <laughs> It's gonna like indent in the middle, and it wouldn't be too good. And maybe we'll add another little strut like right here. And we're moving on, we're going up, and then we meet the rope bridge. So we go across the rope bridge, and it's not finished. But I do want to show you what is finished. So if we were coming back to this four way, we go straight. Or we could go left. Or we could go straight. We'll go straight. And we follow this, and now we're into the lower part of the world. And, ooh, that's a steep little incline. Let's come over here, and we go under a whole little train set, and then we come back up here. So we would pretty much do a huge loop. But if we go this way, we go right up to the tippy tippy top to this big one, and we have to go under this rope bridge. We barely just clear it. The train will just barely clear it. And then we get put right here. And we're back at the beginning where the sandcastle is. Uh, yeah, I wanted to add in just something that led to this part to make it one whole train track So let's probably add in a post right here, and then we'll probably turn because it um, Time to go down It's time to go down. We're way too high, and we're gonna go down and we gotta go down fast I'm yelling timber <laughs> Yeah, I'll go home. I'm sorry that was not needed. You guys did not need to hear that in your life. So we'll go to this straight track right here. Come on. St oh, straight track. Why you fail me? You failed your people. Straight track. You let down all the Atlanteans who are counting on you to go straight. Where's all my straight tracks? I used all my straight tracks? Oh, no. I only have two left. Straight tracks. Only two left. Uh, I think we... Please have more... Oh, wait, we have a train! We have the train! So I gotta show you guys the train. And I also have to put the controller somewhere. Because it's a toy train site, you gotta control it. And if we go to put the old planes, let's go put the old planes up right there. I guess we're gonna have to get rid of that. So let's get ourselves a pickaxe. That's an axe. That's a hatchet. There we go. So let's get rid of the stairs, because we don't really need them. We can really swim now. And let's place the piece of wood right there. Okay, I don't know if we'll have enough. Oh wait, we do have straight tracks. I'm sorry, I'm oblivious to the world. <laughs> we still can put down our tank engine. So let's put down the tank engine right there. Let's put the uh, flatbed caboose. And I guess it'll be a smaller train this time. And we do need those curved tracks that curve. Perfect. Right there. No, not right there. Right there, no, not right there. Come on, you can do it, Cody, use your brain. Use your brain. You have one. There we go. Perfect. And completely. Oh, it's completed. No. Oh, now it's completed. That looks awesome. We do need to add in that controller block. So let's put the controller right. Um. Here. Here looks like a good spot. Perfect. So this is my whole train set. Man, we've kind of made a mess. But it's worth it, because look how cool this is, right? Right? Cool. Oh. Wait, what is this doing here? There we go. Let's... Perfect now. <laughs> Landings, let me know what you think of my whole... Why am I dying? Oh, I'm hungry. I need to go get food. Uh, let me know what you think of my train set. Uh, pretty soon, I think we'll maybe have a way to make this controller work and be able to use this train set. It's currently just a train model. I want to use it one day, and it'd be so cool. And then we can run over Rasmus and hit his feet with that little train. All right, I gotta go get some food. Thank you for taking a look at my train set, guys. It was so fun making that. And I'm probably gonna get some pizza. I don't know about you.